What up, everybody? It's your boy, Asian, and we're back starting this beautiful weekend, but here I gotta get this off my chest. I had to sleep on it, but guess what? Pittsburgh Steelers come in last night to a big game against the New England Patriots needed to win, coming off a disappointing loss to the Arizona Cardinals. But guess what happened? The Pittsburgh Steelers once again fall to a two-win team. That is the New England Patriots. 21 to 18. Yes, they lose back-to-back -back games to two-win teams. Um, ab abomination of a performance. Let's start off by saying that first and foremost. Now this defense got off to a bad start. New England scored on the first drive of the game. Zeke out the backfield. Um, Michael Walker and Joey Porter got mixed up in coverage. Zeke scores out the backfield easy. Um, Bailey Zabby made it look easy in that first half. Uh, two, three touchdowns. New England scored 13 points total in the past three games before they scored four, 21 in the first half against us. Yes, I know the defense is banged up. Mika's playing with a broken hand. Landon Roberts is playing hurt. Um, we got a lot of injuries. KZ's playing. No Keanu Neal. But no excuses, man. Um, this defense was not good. Um, Trubisky didn't help. At one point, this offense was 20 plays, 43 yards in that first half. Like I said, we gave him 21 points in that first half. Yes, it was bad. Bailey Zappi finished the first half, 14 for 21, three touchdowns, no picks. Um, and Mitchell Trubisky had a, an interception that led to a touchdown late in that half. Um, it was not good. Michael Walker was inconsistent this game as well on defense. 21-10 um, at the half. Deontay Johnson scored a touchdown late in that, late in that first half. Um, Highsmith got hurt, a neck injury. He was getting held the whole game. Rest didn't call it, finally. Him and TJ being held the whole year, but we decided not to call that. So... At this point, I'm looking at it like this. This is, we're at a low point in the Mike Tomlin era where we're not used to this. As Diller fans, um, and the rest of the NFL is not used to this, pretty much. Anytime the Steelers have a tough loss, they find a way to bounce back, but this is two weeks in a row. They don't get off the mat, and they lose another game. Um, so let's talk about the second half of the game. The Steelers don't 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 score, don't give up no more points in this half, in the, in the second half. Defense does a decent job. Um, Defense helps us out. We get a tipped interception. Tipped interception from Atlanta Roberts, by the way, has been great this year for us. He needs to be resigned. Um, Michael Walker picks it. We take it down, get inside the 20, 25. Turnover on downs, but Trubisky slides early. Then we go for it, turnover on downs. Then Miles Killebrew makes up for last week when he had a few holding penalties, a few bad penalties on special teams. Gets a block punt. We end up scoring a touchdown. Um, get a two point conversion. 21 18. That's all she wrote. And that's all the points we scored. So, Great job by special teams to make up for that. But that was 11.44 left in, this, in the fourth quarter, and that's all the points that were scored in this game. We end up getting the ball back late in that, late in that quarter, um, go for it on fourth down. But the fourth down call was horrendous. Mr. Trubisky snaps the ball, doesn't even look. Allen Robinson's open in the middle of the field and throws a deep pass that's a very low percentage throw to Deontay Johnson. It's incomplete. Covered by covered by John by John by Jonathan Jones. I'm um, incomplete, and that's all she wrote. The Steelers don't get the ball back. Um, they get the ball back with a little under 20 seconds left, and we don't score. We lose. We lose the game 2018. Like I said, so it's, it's a new low point for us in the Mike Tomlin era. Um, first time a team in NFL history has been eight games over 500 and lost back to back to teams under 500. Um, and there's going to be a lot of fire Mike Tomlin chance. I don't. I don't agree with that sentiment. There needs to be big changes, and I don't see the big changes happening to this offseason. Um, no Kenny Pickett, like we said. He hasn't been great, though. There's no true leader on this offense. Najee doesn't get the help he needs to do it. Um, he's not a team captain. Mason Cole's been bad, snapping the ball. Trubisky's not good. He's making $10 million as a backup quarterback. It's not acceptable. As we all know, the injuries in this league, quarterback play especially, doesn't help when you have to have a good quarterback, a backup quarterback. And still just need to invest in that in the offseason and even a starter. And we haven't been good at quarterback. There needs to be, like I said, major changes. Eddie Faulkner, like him, like Mike Sullivan, but hey, they're not going to be the guy. There needs to be wholesale change on his offense. George Pickens is invisibly frustrated. Him and Deontay Johnson. And you can see they're missing him. I mean, Allen Robinson doesn't say anything, but they're missing him. Deontay Johnson pretty much didn't show up this game either, but these guys can't get the ball when they're open. It's just as simple as that. Mika said after this game, a, show, uh, a quote that he had was, Steelers need more people who want to work for it. Don't want to hand it to them. You got to work hard. Um, it's with them at seven and six. Yes, seven and six. And I don't see them making the playoffs now. I mean, what's going to happen? You get in the playoffs, you're going to lose. Next, next, the last three out of four games are on the road. That's at the Colts next week. Um, versus the Bengals. That's not an easy win. 
Jake Browning's looking actually pretty good um, at the Seahawks. Playing in Seattle is not easy. And then you close it out at the Ravens, who possibly could be resting. They could have the number one seed sold up or fighting for it. Who knows? But you have the next four on the road. Um, I said before the season, 11, 11 and 6 is still possible, but that might not even get you in the playoffs. And even if it does, what we're going to do? Lose, lose at Kansas City, lose at Baltimore, um, lose in Miami. Um, if they get, the, if they don't get the number one seed, um, who knows? It's just not all hope is lost, but it's, it's looking pretty dim right now. And like I said, there will be no pretty much changes until the end of the season. Um, give a lot of credit to Atlanta Robbins and Mika, who's playing their playing their asses off. Mika's playing with a broken hand. Atlanta Robbins is playing his butt off, like I, I said before. Uh, there's no reason to give up 240 yards to Bailey Zappi and give up three touchdowns in that first half. If you would have told me, if you would have told me the New England Patriots would have scored 21 points, I know they were all in the first half. I would have laughed at you. But with that being said, it's unacceptable, Un unacceptable performance um, to not have this team prepare for two back-to-back -back weeks against two terrible football teams. So if changes can't be made in the offseason, I don't know what to tell you. It's, I'm frustrated just as ever as most of you Steelers fans are, and I'm calling for change, not for Mike Tomlin. But Fire bus host, staff changes, offensive improvement, scheme, everything you need to do. You need to upgrade a quarterback, upgrade a center because Mason Cole has been terrible. Um, and with Kenny being hurt, it really doesn't help because now you can't evaluate him. Um, but we can do better than that, man. Um, I've been dealing with this for three, four yards. Even be right before Barry retired, the offense was still terrible. And it's just getting progressively worse. 26 in total offense. Um, it's 2023 in the NFL, man. And you can't score 20 points a game. So. I don't know what to tell you, but losing to these bad teams just keeps keeps shadowing that and keeps telling you guys. Before, the Steelers have been able to pull out these ugly wins, and now they're not being able to pull these ugly wins out. So that, for needs to tell you that changes need to be made sooner rather than later. But like I said, there's four games left in the season, and no big changes will be will be made until then, but they need to happen. So this is a PSA for all you Steelers fans. I guess we're going to have to be patient, whether you like it or not, but I'm not going to necessarily call for Mike Tomlin to be fired. I don't think he does. If he can't make the changes and adapt to the times, then hey, then yeah, that's a different conversation. But he needs to get an offensive guy in there if he wants to stay and wants to make this team relevant because the AFC is not is not slowing down anytime soon with Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, um, et cetera, and email the quarterbacks in, in the NFC, Jalen Hurts, Brock Purdy. Um, you have to put talent around this offense. And if you can put a better guy at signal caller, that will help. So we'll see what happens. But I'm just a frustrated Steelers fan. Um, so everybody enjoy the weekend. Have a good weekend. It's your boy Adrian, and I'm out.